about that. I'm watching Nikki's story. I'm looking at you. I'm uh -huh. looking at Pat on the other side of the studio. Yeah. And Luby, our floor director, everybody's smiling. Yeah, that's How cool. How about that? That's great. That's yeah. great. That's, that was it's a cool incredible. story. And, you know, Pat mentioned it. He said in 30 minutes. How about that? How about that? that? Really Going into cool. the weekend, buddy. Press is go. on. What you got? It's Friday. What it's you got? Great weather. Today was so nice. I, I just kept on going outside going, it's still nice. I know. It's, it's still, still nice. Tomorrow's going to be nice, too. But okay. we've been talking about this next weather alert that we got into for Sunday into okay. Monday. I mean, it's a repeat of last weekend, really. So any preps that you did last weekend, do it again this weekend. Let's take you down the shore because that's some of the places that's going to see probably the trifecta of all of our impacts. Start for some flooding, gustiest conditions. We could see actually wind gusts down the shore up there, 50, maybe even 60 miles per hour. And then we'll have to watch for some coastal flooding as well. But right now, looking really nice down there along the Ocean City boardwalk. Back into Center City, Philadelphia, mighty fine as well. Looking at temperatures hanging out right around 40 degrees as we go into our Friday night. Dew points are in the low 30s, not nearly as dry as it was earlier on this week. We've got a little more moisture to come back with some of our mild temperatures. And like today, we're right back up into the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. We've cooled though since those afternoon highs. We're in the low 40s from Trenton to Philadelphia, 38 degrees in Wilmington right now. A few of you getting there to near freezing, 33 in Allentown, Millville. You've dipped into the upper 20s already. High pressure firmly in control, but it is beginning to sink slightly to the south, and then it will eventually slide on off towards the east, and it will allow that storm system to ride in as we go into the second half of our weekend. But for tonight, really nice conditions, clear skies and cooling temperatures back into the mid and lower 30s for most of us, and then more sunshine, also more high clouds building through the second half of the day. That will not hold back those temperatures. We're looking for highs to level off there somewhere around 53 to 55 degrees. All right, jumping ahead into the second half of the weekend, we have a flood watch in effect for the entire area, one to three inches of rain. So flooding possible streams, creeks, and some urban areas and just spots where where the ground cannot absorb all of that water, so it shoots it off into the streams and creeks. So we'll have to watch out for the possibility of flooding. Why? Well, because we're going to get a lot of rainfall, and it comes over a relatively short period of time. That rain begins to arrive as we go through Sunday afternoon. That one to three inches of rain could result in that localized flooding and wind speeds. They'll begin to pick up Sunday night, gusts up to 40 miles per hour, and I mentioned along the coast we could see those 50 mile per hour gusts. And here's why that deepening low pressure system will be strengthening as it tracks to the north and east. It travels right along the coast and we'll start to see those light showers arriving through Sunday afternoon. Look at just that steady rain, pockets of heavy rain continuing as we go through Monday or Sunday night into Monday morning. The wind speeds increase along that as well. As the storm clears out, the rain will taper off at first. And then some cooler air rushes in. A redeveloping low pressure system may result in some snow showers for us as we go into Tuesday. Something to watch as that colder air settles in for most of next week. The main thing, though, as Yuki said, let's just enjoy one day at a time. 54 degrees tomorrow. Enjoy it because everything begins to turn to rain and wind as we head through Sunday to Monday and watching for those snow showers. And we're kind of back to winter. Literally, winter begins, guys, mm. on Thursday. All right, buddy. Thank you so yep. much.